Osman are ready to roll here in the bottom of the first and a swing and a foul off. Oh, a lot. That could turn out very well, but again, this is a hot group right now. Nice stop by Vladdy. He's going to make the play himself, and he will. One down. First out, especially when it's a guy with speed like Anderson has, and you'd rather not have anybody on base for Vaughn as hot as he. The 0 1. Bounced foul up the third baseline, 0 and 2. A lot of that early, but using the splitter. And throwing it for a good strike, and that's a good one. A very encouraging by Guerrero to lead off the ball game. He went 57 straight games without an error to start the season. Over at first, brings an 11 game hitting streak into this one. You know, doing notes on the White Sox lineup, getting ready for the game. It's like doing notes. They are definitely heating up offensively right now. Swing and a miss. Good split there, and it's one and two. I love that to be a pitch that the White Sox have to respect when he's getting that close. And another one, and he'll get him. The tag applied by Kirk and go through and find a hole. It can also be some bad luck. The old hit him where they ain't. From the pitcher's perspective, down to black. Talking about the shift, the Blue Jays have shifted right handed batters way more than they did. Handed batters taking the ball to right field. We saw Anderson hit the ball hard to the right side tonight. Vladdy made the play thing as intended for Kevin Gosman this year. Here's the ball to right field. Charging is Tay Oscar, and he'll make the catch. Now some against righties have not shifted once tonight in the first five batters who have come to the plate. All right-handed batters and down on that, that opposite field a little bit. I sit up here night after night and I watch. All these fastball away. That's why the right handed batters are hitting it the other way because they're staying on it because they respect the splitter. Is it a fastball or a split? Is it a fastball or a split? And if it's a fastball, well, you're going to be a little bit late. Pull. Right center field. Good contact here by Pollock. And this ball's off the base of the fence. Tapia gets to it quickly. But Pollock runs well, and he's into second base with a one-out double. Jay Pollock with a one-out double to bring up Adam Engel. The right fielder, and he goes the other way for a base hit. And this is going to give the White Sox the lead. And Engel will take second. Back-to-back -back doubles, one to nothing Chicago. Have generates contact to the opposite field. I'm not smart enough to know that. But you can look up the numbers. And Guys who are outs who don't change their swings with two strikes, they have the same swing, yeah. go ahead and shift them. Yeah. And there are mountains of evidence that suggest shifting is smart. In general, shifting gets you more outs than it for him as well. There are a lot of different things to consider. Fly ball to center, Tapia makes the catch, and Angle was a little bit late getting back to tag, but will still get to third. And the pitcher like Alec Manoa 100% it makes sense to shift a lot. He's got that You know, he's got a different arsenal than And again no shifts so seven batters No shifts. He has been around yeah. And he knows what's going on and he will figure things out like that pitch right there But he can be a guy who can give up some hard contact and still have a, a great game pitch around it round ball to third Chapman will throw out Josh Harrison to end the inning. I think gave a back to back doubles. One of them was hit right down the right field line. Nothing you can do about it. So it is one to nothing, but walked 11 and only given up two home runs all year. You're doing something. Yes. You've got a, a great understanding of the art of pitching, watching back. Stuff before, we asked him last year about the Giants. Not the shifting stuff because the Giants league last year with the Giants he saw that and had to make adjustments and maybe it was coming back to the American pitching for the Giants said I had to make the adjustments. The Shet going back and he can't get there a bloop over his head a base hit for Danny Mendick to lead off the bottom of the third Danny Mendick filled in for Tim Arrow Jr. and then made the play unassisted. Anderson up the middle with a line drive base hit. Mendick up to second. Anderson makes this team go. Andrew Vaughn 
swing and a miss at the first pitch he sees. That looked like a slider right at the knees. And it's 0 and 1. And you need those hitters to respect all of those pitches. They can't go up there and just two pitches. Great play by Kirk. Throw down to third, but not in time. Just to the. And the 1 1 fastball misses inside. Ball two. Runner goes from first. And it's pulled foul. Two and two. For the third. And the 2-2 slider down and away. Vaughn takes it. And a full count. The set by Gosman. He is not going. And it's fouled off by Vaughn. I'm surprised. He's going this time. And it's grounded down to third. Chapman is coming home. And Kirk applies the tag on Mendick. It's first time up. Slider topped foul up the third baseline. 0 1, ground ball to third. Chapman step on the bag, and then a wide throw. And instead of the inning being over, the lead runner, so it's second and third, two down for Jose Abreu. Swing and a miss at a fastball, 0 1. 90 tonight. Bounced foul, 0-2. A couple of fastball. Get that good splitter. Slider down and away for ball one. Two on, two out. And the one-two foul it off over for the White Sox. One-two. Did he go? He did not, says Edwin Moscoso. He lives for these situations. 2-2, lined hard down the left field line, but foul. Abreu. Fastball hit to center. Tapia feeling for the fence, makes the catch. About three. Hey. <laughs> you know me in the heat. A.J. Pollock leads off the bottom of the fourth, chops one to short, backhanded by Bichette, and he'll throw him out. One pitch and one out, bottom four. Hey. And now he does that every day to help him defensively. And it's worked. Yeah. And They're with him. Today it was about his feet in feeling those ground balls that he was doing it incorrectly. Two pitch pitcher, you can handle it. Now you add in that third pitch, maybe a slider like that. There's there another again. one. Yeah. That slider, you throw that thing over. Now he'll use the slider against the righties. And that'll make that splitter <laughs> that much better because he's got was down. I, I've got to change that up. And, and I love the one expression that he uses. He calls it his kill pit. Sebi Zavala, the catcher, 0 for 1. He said something yesterday, moving the fastball around a bit. Like what pitcher wouldn't want the best command they could have, but sometimes he says it actually. His last start wasn't very long, so usage last time. Did throw one change up. For 17, and spent most of the year at AAA. Lays off the split there, and it's a full count. And a walk. The first walk given up tonight by Gosman. Can throw the good splitter. And you might you probably noticed there 159 off the splitter. Ball and it's 0 and 2. Slider down and away. So he will try to get the chase on the. And a fastball gets the call on the outside corner. The White Sox will run on four hits. The Blue Jays don't have a hit yet. As Gosman faces Danny Mendick. Fastball. And it's called a on just pumping it out there. Hitters aren't going to swing at it. You keep using it out there. There's a good splitter right there. Just taking it. Bounces that one in two and two. Up and in with a fastball three and two. And against it early, you can do some damage. And we have seen that. Tonight. 
The 3 2 to Mendick. Down and away for bowl four. Second walk given up tonight by Gosman. As we go down to field level and a Rashman inning. Well, Third time through the order. Here's Tim Anderson. Anderson to ground out in the. And now one and one. Bounced in, and what a pick by Kirk. It's communication with infielders. Through the right side, a base hit for Anderson. Mendick up to second. Anderson two for three tonight, and now four for eight since coming off the. Throw down to first, and they got another one. Big point in this ball game. Did it ever? Vaughn checks the swing. They appeal, but he didn't go, so it's two and zero. Oh. The one one to Vaughn. And it's down and in. Ball two. Your sacrifice. Good throw. It all worked out for him. Two and two. Good split down and in right there. <laughs> and a good split there, but Vaughn did well to get a piece of it. Runner at second, one down, 2 2 again. And a fastball, and you can see that Vaughn, not once, haven't shifted any of the nine guys in the lineup. I don't know that it's really come into play. 2 2 again. Split taken low, full count. Or about 35 Celsius if you prefer. That time he went around. And that is strikeout number five for Kevin Gosman. So much you bounce it up there and get a big strikeout. Now, Robert, who has struck out and reached on an eight. One and one. Wild card spot in the American League. Slider fouled off. One and two. And a fair ball down the left field line into the corner. Will bring a run in to score. Mendick will cross the plate on an RBI double by Robert to make it two to nothing. My ball outs. Hits three runs, all earned. Waves at that low fastball. Brave. Fastball grounded up the middle. Great stop, Espinal. And the throw to first is in time. And Pollock, who has doubled and grounded out, looks at strike one. Kirk wants the appeal, but it's not granted, so it's a ball and a strike. And the slider. Fly to right, not deep at all. Hey, Oscar's there, one down. And I like that they sent him back out five. Push him. Yeah. The bullpen's thrown a lot of innings here in June. They didn't throw a ton of it. You kind of see it. They've shown cracks. The the numbers are going in the wrong direction. Here's a broken bat base hit into center for Angle. His second hit of the game. He's going. Pitch taken. Throw down by Kirk. Safe. And Espinal is pointing to the dugout right away. Charlie. And he's going again. And there's no throw from Kirk. Boy, what a running start Angle got. There's a strike. And it is what's tonight. The baseball savant's got him at 24. That's it right now. He's thrown more sliders than split. One two and he got it a splitter up in the zone a swing and a miss for a big second out he's battling Josh Harrison the batter and he takes inside ball one just when he needs to and again they haven't really hit a ton of balls hard tonight out off two and one. Two and two. Well, two down. And the 2 2 pitch. And he got him. 
Got him to chase a ball down. Seven strikeouts. <laughs>